In this overview video we're going to show you some of the basics behind trimming and splitting a component. To start with I'm just going to maximize the 2D view here and draw a vector that we're going to use for our first trimming operation. I'm going to zoom in a little, I'm going to go up to the polyline and just sketch myself a vector which is essentially going to enclose the area that I'd like to eliminate of the model. So I'm just going to make a closed shape there. We'll come in, go into node editing and just quickly edit that so that it closely follows the shape that I want to trim out. So you can see I'm just using the grayscale underneath to help me to draw this vector here. Once I'm happy with that shape and I have the vector that encloses the area that I either want to keep or get rid of, we can go up to view, we'll tile the window so we can see the 2D and the 3D, come to the modeling tab, I'm going to select my component, I'm going to shift and select the vector, in this case I'm going to get rid of the area underneath the vector, so I'm going to choose the option to clear area of selected component inside the selected vector. So there you can see it's just cropped that area out and so now our single component doesn't have that included as part of the model. We can just go ahead and delete that vector now. Now another option within the software is to split a component into two pieces. In that last operation we actually trimmed the area and got rid of what was inside the vector. If we want to keep what's on both sides of the vector we go ahead and just create another quick vector here. I'm going to come in and just sketch this in here and again we'll just node edit to make sure that that is going to split along the line that I want it to. When I'm happy with that we'll just fit the window there and this time I'm going to select my single component. I'm going to shift and select this line, it's just an open line, come to the modeling tab and I'm going to use this function to split the selected component using the vector. So now when we click it, instead of it cropping away part of the design, it's just going to take our original component and split it into two pieces called A and B that you can see in the component tree. Now we could delete our splitting vector there. We could take our new separate component here, mirror that, go flip vertical and take it and just rotate it around and create an entirely different um, layout using our um, new separate parts of a component. Create essentially what will become a new flourish design here. Now the ability to trim a component is not limited to just using a vector. Let's go ahead into another example here in Aspire. And here we can see we have a component which has been created from a bitmap of some stones. So we've created this texture. Now I would like that texture to only be in the background and not to go all over the top of the eagle as it is now. So I want to trim away the area of the texture where the eagle is. We can use the same command as we used before. So I'm going to first select the object that I would like to trim. Then I'm shift and select the object I want to trim it with or as I like to think of this the cookie cutter. And then we're going to come over here and say that we want to clear area of the selected component inside the other selected object. So let's click on that icon and there we'll see that it's now trimmed out the area where the eagle is. If we just go ahead and undraw the eagle you can see that area as it's been cropped out now. We could go ahead and take that component and also shift select this vector here and say that we want to clear area of selected component outside the selected vectors. So cookie cut and keep just the part that's inside the vector there. And now you can see if we switch on the other two components in this model how that can be used in order to generate um, or create the texture to only occupy the area that we want it to. So that concludes this short guide to the trimming and dividing components.